All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back. To we're back at the bench, I guess. And I wasn't planning to film anything today, but um, I got a package from High Score Saves. I had ordered, um, and I could get these other places too. But I got these um, prom readers, the 82s 123s. Let me see if you can get that focused in there. And a guy on Clove makes these. His name's uh, Brian. Uh, goes by Br Zaziki or something like that. I don't know how to say the last the last part of it, but anyway, these allow you to basically either use them to read proms with a GQ4X EEPROM reader, which I have. Let me grab it real quick. This is uh, the GQ4X EEPROM reader, and uh, this reads EEPROMs and stuff, but it doesn't read PROMs. So the PROMs are a little bit smaller. You'll find them in like Atari games like Tempest and Battlezone and, and things like that. And I've been wanting to get one of these, and I was ordering this um, the new Pac-Man multi-kit from High Score Saves. And so I saw these on there, and I figured I'd go ahead and get them. Um, so there, <coughs> excuse me. There are two. There are two functions of these. Uh, you can actually use them to read proms in your EEPROM burner, the G, the uh, GQ 4X, or you can use them with. Uh, it, let's see. These are. Can you see that? Okay. These are. Uh, it's not focused. There we go. Electrical erasable EEPROMs. So um, these are a little bit faster than normal EEPROMs. These are uh, W27C512s. They're like 45 nanosecond access times, I guess. So anyway, they, they're faster and, and you can't use the regular EEPROM, so you have to use something like this. The only downside of using these, as far as I know, is that you can't erase these in the GQ4X, as far as I know. So, anyway, I just figured I'd show the assembly. I've already assembled a couple of them here. Uh, this one right here basically has the um, a 14 pin, is it 14? No, 16. 16 pin dip insertion uh, on the top, and then a machine pins on the bottom so that I can put it in my E. Um, in the GQ like this like that and then um, read it read it in as the 27 512 um, into the burner yeah so that that would work and then the other one I put together was to replace potentially a bad um, prom on one of the boards so it's like what 24 pin I guess on this side and then the 16 pin on on that on the bottom like that so I, I just put two together and then I was like you know what this might be a good video series of me actually using these for something or like some videos that might help other people as I learn it so I figured what I would do is I'd go ahead and assemble one real quick um, on here so the first thing I did is I, I take um, because we're going to assemble one that can takes a 16-pin, uh, yeah, 16-pin prom and converts it to the, I think the 24-pin uh, uh, e prom. So the first thing I did is, you know, put it in there into a little piece of styrofoam to kind of uh, stabilize my machine pins. Then I line up the machine pins. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let's see if you can see that a little bit better. Yeah, like this. Um, line up the machine pins. Go ahead and stick them in, and then just sn snap up, snap them off like that. Same thing here, stick them in, 
and then right at the edge just uh, screwed up. Dang it. Now I'm making things worse probably. Or you could use obviously wire wire cutters here. And I'm probably not supposed to just do one pin. It's probably going to be a little unstable, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to replace the whole thing now. wire cutters probably will save you that little bit of trouble I just had um, so then we're gonna obviously stick these in like this get them into the holes Let's see if you can see that and then we'll be ready to solder them Solder them on. I'm not going to stop because it's going to go pretty fast, I think. I've been working on some other stuff too. I actually like used the Z80 adapter that I built earlier for the first time and tested some Z80, so... I'm going to actually film that. So I tested them with a, my uh, signature analyzer. And I barely know what the heck I'm doing. Actually, I admit, I don't know what I'm doing. But it's kind of fun to, to learn the stuff as you go. Okay, so got that part done. And now what we need to do is grab... See, I don't know how many pins it is. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, I think it's like tw 28, 28 pins actually. And now we're going to make sure we put the notch in the same direction, kind of, so everything's lined up, lined up good. Just like that. Flip it upside down and then solder this side. And I'll pause it there so you get the idea so it's pretty pretty simple to put these together and it allows you to replace or program um, a regular EEPROM to replace one of the PROMs um, which you know unless you have an older burner or more expensive burner than the GQ 4X these come in these come in handy for the you know the occasional user like like me or something like that um, and this is what they look like when they're done just like that so that's it for now and then what I'll do is um, I do have some battle zone boards and some other some other boards I plan on using these to at least verify the um, the prom images and stuff and Brian has a cool uh, website that allows you to that kind of convert the files um, after you read them and stuff, so hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate that as well. Oops. Oh, gosh darn it. And pick this up the other day. <coughs> Excuse me. Pick this up the other day. Um, and it's really good. Voodoo Ranger, it's the first time I saw it at the grocery store. It's by New Belgium. 7% alcohol. And I really like it. Cool. It tastes really good. 
It's yeah, it definitely has you know citrus and stuff. I'm no no Joe, obviously doing beer reviews, but I definitely enjoy it. So pick yourself up some. It's on sale right now. Bye.